Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about iOS 16 and the new lock screen that Apple introduced to us and all the things that you can do to customize it. Uh, first, as you can see, I have a fairly simple lock screen. We can go and customize it. We're going to start first with the clock. As you can see, you have eight fonts that you can choose from. Some of them are really funky, the other ones are simple and like modern, like this one and that one. Yeah, and basically you have a lot of choice. Um, you can go at the bottom of this page. As you can see, Apple placed a variety of colors that you can choose from, but you're not really limited to those. You can open the color wheel, that's what I call it. You have the grid spectrum and sliders so you basically have unlimited ways to create color <laughs> i mean you get what i'm saying uh and if you can if you, if you want you can change even further like you can make it brighter or dimmer deeper however you like it i mean that's how it's going to be and as you can see here i'm using the blue color and I can further make it deeper or lighter. It's fun. You can also change the numbers from Arabic, Arabic Indic, and you have a third option, which I'm not quite sure how to pronounce. That's why I'm just going to leave it like that. But yeah, you have a lot of customization when it comes to just your clock. And now we're going to talk about widgets on the lock screen. And as you can see here, I set the weather conditions uh, that's my personal choice. I really like to see the weather right on top of my lock screen. It's just easy and it's just a no-brainer. But you can choose something else, like what's next to your calendar, or just a simple date. That works also. You can check the time in a different city, location, whatever your heart wants. Reminders. Reminders are really, really useful to see them uh, right on your lock screen. Uh, I found that easier for me because I can see what I need to be I need to be reminded of. Actually, I do forget that I put a reminder on, so I'm um, I'm just dumb. But yeah, this is uh, the top line that you can customize with widgets. It's not really big, so it's just a glance. You know, it's not going to give you as much information as the third one, which we are now going into. As you can see here, you have a platter of different widgets that you can choose from. Uh, my personal favorite is uh, the battery widget, which I can see, you know, the battery status of my Apple Watch. As you can see here, you have a small one and a bigger one that actually shows you the percentage of your battery left. And you have more here, we have reminders, uh, we have Facebook, which is a third-party one that shows the birthdays, the upcoming birthdays, actually, of your friends. So you never forget your friends again. But I usually do, even when I have a, that one. Anyways, uh, you have the Snapchat. I think that these are the two that actually have updated for widgets on the lock screen. I couldn't find anything else, I'm afraid. So... It's only Facebook and Snapchat for me now. Uh, I saw that Google is working on a, a widget on the lock screen, so that would be amazing if they are going to update that now. That would be great because I'm already tired of Apple stock application on the lock screen, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I really like the third line because it shows you more information, it's more interactive. And now we are going into the second part of this video, which is the wallpapers and the different types that you can choose from and customize them. And some of them are quite fun because they're dynamic and they change throughout the day, I like the weather one or the astronomy one. So to go into the edit mode, we have to long press the lock screen and that will take us to the edit. Uh, section of your wallpapers. You click the plus and you're greeted with a lot of different like pre-made wallpapers for you to choose from. You can you can also make one from scratch. 
as you can see here we have people which are all of my friends you have nature and you have cities as you can see here uh, the phone will show you all the photos that you've been taking uh, on like uh, buildings and skyscrapers stuff like that city related you know uh, <laughs> anyways you can also go to the album right on top uh, so you can get so you can get to your photos and choose whatever you like uh, next section is a photo shuffle which are a different selection of photos that you can choose from so they will shuffle um, whenever you want them <laughs> you have uh, to choose from people nature and cities all all of them together as you can see here we'll remove the people because uh, you know I have photos that are quite awkward and scary uh, you can choose the shuffle frequency uh, it can be uh, on top on lock hourly or daily I try that it's really fun but you know I prefer more like simple lock screen with I mean no photos next one is emoji which is um, I guess it's fun for um, you know um, 12 13 years old I guess I mean if you want to be fun I, I, I don't find it really interesting uh, I mean you can you can you, you get the idea you just pick um, up to six emojis and you can place them in a small grid as you can see here you have a medium grid which is quite large and then you have the large grid and they're massive um, also you have rings uh, spiral I mean it's it's fun uh, there are a lot of ways that you can customize that and make it really really nice you can also change the background color as you can see here um, the slider also works um, with the background color here so yeah I mean it's fun it's just not for everybody and now to my personal favorite is the weather one uh, which shows the weather in real time at your location the sad thing about it is that you can't really change the color of the clock as much you have only white and transparent you can also add the widgets and everything else it's just you don't have much color options when it comes to the clock but it's fun also found out that it's draining a little bit a battery like if you're really into it then go ahead and use it it's really really fun especially when there is a storm outside you see the all the different kinds of animations in lightning and next we have astronomy which is my second favorite one as you can see here we have the earth in real time with all the clouds and animations it uses your location as well uh, we have earth in detail which will pull the earth towards you and you can see a lot more detail in that uh, we have the moon if you're into the moon then you can choose the moon uh, you have a uh, moon detail and you have the solar system which I think it's um, quite boring because nothing ever changes in there or it takes a lot of time anyways um, the, the animation that comes with this wallpaper are really nice and smooth uh, I, I will show you in a minute next one we have the colors as you can see here you have a lot of different types of colors that you can choose from and also here you have the slider so you can change um, the brightness or the dimness of your color um, also you have a lot of different types of effects uh, like an ombre fade effects like vibrant tone uh, you have deep vapor and um, bright and just a solid color for all of you simple human beings uh, yep and if you scroll down you see all the pre-made wallpapers for you with the widgets and everything so if you don't really want to like spend time uh, making a wallpaper for you then you can choose one of these as you can see we have the pride we have the unity wallpaper which is really really nice especially uh, when you're um, in like always on mode we have the bubbles which were one of my favorite ones 
back in the day just because it was new, just because it was something that was moving on the lock screen, on the highways, you know, big deal. We have the stock ones, um, which I don't really like. I mean, Apple should try harder next year, you know. And now we're just going to go through all of them and I'll show you all the animations that comes with them. As you can see here, the weather. Uh, right now it's raining because we are in England and it's raining every day. Uh, anyways, as you can see here, you will see for a brief moment uh, how the rain, um, you know, come down. Um, you have the earth here, as you can see in detail, it doesn't move as much. It's just a subtle movement. But when we go to the actual like planet, not in detail, you can see the smooth animation while the planet is coming at you. It's really, really realistic, really smooth. Um, then we have the emoji. Uh, and then we have the bright, which is quite fun, actually, because it transitions really, really smoothly into the home screen, like the whole stripes are like, you know, moving. <laughs> and when it pairs with the always on display, the lines are getting thinner and it's just the really nice transitions here. You have the the normal lock screen that the iOS 16 lock screen that the phone comes in. Um, it just it just has a like a subtle movement in the animation, nothing really major here. Uh, that's what I'm using right now because it's just simple and nice. I really wanted to thank you all for watching my videos. Um, we are now at 108 subscribers. I really want to thank you, all of you that subscribe to my channel. Let me know which wallpaper is your favorite one. Thank you. See ya.